so much, Julie. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Kristen Hodnett. I work in the special education department, um, focusing primarily on adolescent special education. And the tool that I'm going to share today is called Adobe Express, which I use to make presentations um, that include you know, video, visuals, voice, um, and, and sound other than voice. So I'm gonna share my presentation, which is probably in the wrong spot, but I'll adjust. There we go, of course it is. All right. Um, so my multimodal tool is called Adobe Express. Um, and I discovered it a long time ago when I was looking for ways to, you know, make my content more engaging, um, add my voice into videos, um, provide narration for slides. And I have tools that I use to provide narration for slides, but what I found was um, I would have to do it in like one long stream. You know, I would use screencasts and I was talking and I would mess up at the sixth minute and I was like, ah, oh, I have to do it again. So one of the things I love when I found in Adobe Express was that you can add narration by slide, which for me was a real game changer. Um, so the tool here is offered on a web page and an app. I have to say I love the app. So if you have an iPad or a device that you can use with an app, I would I would suggest starting there. And you can create presentations, short videos, but also just like um, infographics and text that are a little bit more dynamic. Um, I wanted to show an example of one so you see what I'm talking about. Um, before I get into all the features, I feel like a visual could be really helpful for that. I'm not going to show um, the whole thing because it, it can be a little long, but this is one of the uses uh, I found for Adobe Express. So this is a hello and welcome video, and I'll stop it after just a minute so you could see the different features on each slide. Hello, and welcome to this presentation about our summer course. Hi, my name is Kristen Hodnett, and I will be your professor for this fully online course. I really enjoy working with adolescent students and thinking about how we can use their interests to help them grow as readers and writers. It is important that we call each other by our names and who we see ourselves to be in the world. As such, please feel free to communicate your name, race, ethnicity, pronoun, and any other way you would like our classroom community to know and or address you. My strong suggestion is that you order our course book today. You can purchase it at the Hunter Bookstore on Scholastic or on Amazon. Okay, so I'm gonna pause there. You kind of get the idea. Each slide offers me a unique opportunity to add an image, to um, add a picture, to add sound, um, and then to use my own voice to move us through the slides. Okay. So features to love about Adobe Express, it's free. That's a big feature to love. Um, it provides both templates and a create your own journey. So I lean on both. Um, sometimes the template is, is created to do exactly what I wanted to do. And sometimes I just need to, to get information out in my own way. And I'll show you examples of that too. Um, I love that I can narrate by the slide and I can also provide text on slides. So there are slides that are all image where I could just narrate over an image, but there are slides that can also be text and my narration, and I love that feature. It has the option to embed video, um, to edit video. I can add images, icons, and pictures. So they have a bank of icons that I can pull from. I can use pictures from my own life. You saw the picture of me sitting on my front step, and then I, I can use images from like a Google search. Um, I'm allowed to edit by page for sound, image, and text, and I love that because, as I mentioned, like sometimes you're on the sixth minute of narration and you've made a mistake. With Adobe, I can I can stop after ten seconds and redo, or I can be on the 18th slide and just redo my sound without disrupting the rest of the presentation. And then it's shared through a link, which is great. Um, so that image that that video that we just watched was shared with my class through a link in my welcome email. So this is what Adobe uh, Express looks like when you visit it. Um, so I don't know how many people use Canva, 
Um, there are similar features to Canva. Um, so I'm, I'm sharing that just as something to consider for those of you who have familiarity with it. So you can see across the top, there's tons of options for templates, but then there is a create your own. They store everything in the project section on the left. So what I also like about it is like that welcome um, video I made. If I like that template, I can just make a copy of it and use it in a different way for a class. And I can edit slides for the new class based off of my old template. Um, you can see across the bottom, there are a lot of options for image, video, um, trimming video. So, so it offers for more advanced users a, a wide range of features. So getting started, um, it's this simplistic. So this is what it looks like. On the left side, you see the layout options. And on the right side, you see the theme options. And I just screenshotted this. There are actually many more themes. Um, but these are, these are the simple layouts that you can use to create the design that you hope for. And then there's an option to add music over um, the back of your narration, which you hopefully heard in that video. And it's just instrumental. It's not um, music with words, although I think you can add music with words too. Um, so this was the example that I showed you where I introduced my book. I, sorry, I introduced my uh, myself to this class. And I like doing this with multimodal tools because I feel like in an online class, it can help me come to life for my students. They have my voice in their head. They can see a picture of me. And I can kind of walk them through the syllabus, which I love to do too. I call it like a syllabus like tour or a syllabus scavenger hunt. Um, and some students will opt to watch this video and others won't, and that's perfectly okay. That's their choice. Uh, another option for using it is to introduce yourself and students. So you can make the tool um, accessible for students to add their own introduction to. So you can build like a class, um, you know, a class community. Last year, we did our winter graduation in the special education department online. Um, and we created a video that allowed us to celebrate the graduates where they all sent in messages and we used different slides to share the student messages. So it was a nice uh, opportunity to celebrate and share together. And again, that link is for them. So they have access to the link and the video can be watched or sent to their families. I also use Adobe Express to introduce large assignments. So in every course, we have one or two large assignments that students are to work on independently for the most part. And I find that adding um, some narration to the wordy assignment overview has been really helpful for my students. So again, I've created a video just to introduce the unit plan in one of my courses. Um, and Virginia, who's gonna to present today, we were talking about yesterday creating a video for this other course we have, and I was thinking this could be the tool to do it. Um, suggestions for use also, um, sometimes I don't find what I need in the literature, or sometimes I don't have a slide deck available for something I wanna teach, so I can create a video um, to update students on this content. And the one here is, I created a video on co-planning um, and talked to students about what it would be like to co-plan. 